Hey everyone, MSX here, and what I have here to show you is the Viper mod chip for the GameCube. Um, unfortunately, GameCube mod chips are a little hard to track down. For some reason, they are extremely hard to find. But yet, the weird thing is, is when you do find them, they're not even that expensive. Maybe $20 to $30. Um, however, there is one mod chip that's currently is still in production, I believe, called the Xeno DC chip. And it's a very basic mod chip, but it only allows you to run backups on your GameCube. This mod chip was considered to be one of the best during its time. It was released during 2005 to 2008. A little weird that's at the very end of the GameCube lifespan. So you could run backups and run other homebrew on this cube, or on this chip rather, and it also came with a SDK so you could either make some of your other homebrew mods or applications or whatever for the GameCube. So here is the box itself, it's a pretty plain box, Viper GC Extreme. I did check the website, it is no longer available. And yeah, it's just a plain box, see my front and back. Inside the box really isn't all that much either. There's only three items that could possibly be inside the box. Get it open. So, first item here is the actual mod chip itself. As you can see here, this is new old stock. Inside the packaging you have a, a little ribbon cable to connect it, to connect your chip to a bridge, which I'll show you in a second. And then four wires. Red, black, and yellow. The camera focuses. Uh, these four wires is what you would solder to four solder points on the GameCube. One thing this chip boasted was it was easy to install. You only have to attach those four wires and that's it. Then you could flash a BIOS onto the chip and then start using your GameCube and doing fun stuff. The chip itself is actually blank. Here is the USB bridge. So with that ribbon cable, I might assume it attaches here to this connector. And then over here is a USB port, and so you connect your computer to this USB port. So you can flash the chips and I think put other homebrew stuff onto the chip. And as courtesy, they give you a little USB cable, standard USB to a micro USB. And that's all that comes in the box. For installation, you would I assume at the time go to the Viper chip website and then it have the instructions. I did find on some website it was still hosting the um, pictures, the quote unquote manual. It's a very easy installation like I said. It said at the time easy installation and it still is pretty easy from what it looks like. You just have to solder those four points to the motherboard and that's it. Um, Early versions of the chip, I'm guessing when the thing first launched, instead of the USB bridge, it came with a serial bridge, so you would attach the ribbon cable from the chip to the serial connector and then use that to connect your computer, but why would you want to do that? Also bear in mind, this chip was released in 2005, so I don't even know why they bothered to include a serial connector for the chip originally. That's pretty much all there is to the chip. Um, so this will be going into my GameCube and hopefully I'll be able to have a little fun. Not solely for the purpose of running backups, but maybe some homebrew stuff onto my GameCube. So thank you all for watching. Until then, I'll see you guys later.